Love to see it. <laughs> it's the third season back in the top flight now for Leeds United, and they host Wolves at Ellen Road this afternoon. And we can go live there right now to Simon Brotherton. Good afternoon and happy new season to you. And a happy new season to you and to everybody watching as well. Uh, thanks very much. I've got Adam Pogue with me from BBC Radio Leeds. He's a man who's got his finger on the pulse in what's going on in these parts. New season, Adam. We're all very excited about it. A new look to Leeds United as well. Totally, Simon. There's five new senior signings plus a couple of youngsters. And a new system under, effectively, if you like, a new era because it's Jesse Marsh's first full season in charge. Um, it's exciting. It's the end of the Bielsa time, clearly, once and for all. So what do we expect? Could be anything. Have the crowd moved on from Marcelo Bielsa? I mean, his shadow looms large, doesn't it? But when you look at the summer signings that have been made, the manager has been backed with the amount of cash and definitely the players that he's brought in because they've come in from the Red Bull system, which he's so familiar with. Absolutely. Look, there are still Bielsa widows who will always regret the sacking of, you know, one of the greatest managers in the club's history. But everybody has sort of moved on now because, as you say, these new players that have come in, a lot of them that he's worked with before, and one or two of them look like they could be cult heroes. You look at Rasmus Christensen, for instance, he's already integrated well in pre-season and looks like he could be a real crowd favourite. So, you know, everybody feels time to move on now. It strikes me a lot of unknowns about Leeds this season. A lot of new faces, but they really need them to hit the ground running quickly, don't they? Or a decent number of them. That's the, that's, that's the thing we're, we're not sure about. It is, and one of the most exciting players, Luis Sinister, is injured as well. He was probably the one that people think would have replaced one of the stars that left in Rafinha. But the rest of them have been you know, good in their level. But is that level, Austrian Bundesliga, German Bundesliga, is that ready to compete at this level in the Premier League, which we know goes up another notch? What's realistic for Leeds United this season? What do you think this passionate crowd would find acceptable? Right, so for the last two years, I've said 15th would be an ideal finish, and they finished 9th and 17th, but I'm sticking with 15th because I think that shows that the club has consolidated after three years, and that would show improvement. The chairman says 10th to 14th would be good, and he says relegation is impossible. Big statement. Well, it all starts this afternoon. Leeds United here at Ellen Road at home to Wolverhampton Wanderers. Three o'clock kickoff. <laughs> yeah, thanks.